For our final game, we're off to Selhurst Park in South London, where 24 hours after the weekend's other matches, Newcastle were hoping to extend their lead at the expense of a Wimbledon side that had taken only two points from the last 30. Newcastle in buoyant mood, of course, after their midweek win at Liverpool in the League Cup, but they don't have a good record at Wimbledon of late. The team news, Wimbledon start without Vinnie Jones and Andy Thorne, who both have flu. They begin with a four-man attack of Goodman, Holdsworth, Harford and Ikoku, and they're hoping to halt a recent slide that has seen them stop from third from top to third to bottom. Newcastle, they're unchanged from Wednesday. Les Ferdinand is fit to continue despite a head wound that led to his substitution at Anfield. The side also includes Warren Barton back at Selhurst Park for the first time since his transfer to Newcastle. Commentary comes from Ian Dark. So it's going to be Newcastle United in their famous black and white stripes who get us underway here. And although Wimbledon's form has been pretty awful of late, I think they will see this as a chance to turn things around and start to pick up their season. It's quite a significant little test maybe for Newcastle. Leonardson. And oh, that was so close for Wimbledon. A cuckoo arriving on the far post. And he'll be wondering how that stayed out. It was Leonardson who looks very busy and lively early on. Gets a really good angle on this behind the defenders and what a let off for Newcastle Peacock Lee back there defending They're finding it hard to get any foothold at the moment Newcastle hustled out of their style Mick Harper, the 36 year old Beresford and now Newcastle can counter Beardsley, Beresford's continued with his run this is danger. Beresford slides it in and Ferdinand, oh what a goal! What a terrific counter-attacking goal! And that's what Newcastle have been all about this season. Eight minutes gone. Terrific football and Les Ferdinand hits his 19th goal of the season. That was magnificently done. Goodman, hint of a hand about that, play on says the referee, Harford in there, and Leonardson's head out, and Shaka Hislop just keeps it out. Now Shaka Hislop has done a very good job since arriving at St James's Park from Reading. Awkward bounce, and the keeper using all of that big frame of his to keep it out. Now here's Harper, Goodman, back in towards Harper again, and Wimbledon have their equaliser! Dean Holdsworth is the scorer, and that's a shot for the leaders. 18 minutes gone. Harford to Goodman, who cuts it back, and Holdsworth unerringly finds the corner of the net. Ninth goal of the season for Dean Holdsworth, and a good one. And you'd have to say that on the balance of the play so far, Wimbledon do deserve to be level. Ginola, lovely stuff from him. Could Newcastle go ahead again here? Lee's turn, Gillespie. Ferdinand, oh, terrific header. And one of the saves of the season from Paul Hill from point black range. Brilliant save. The range looked to be about four or five yards and Ferdinand really got hold of it. <laughs> the goalkeeper milking the moment. <laughs> and why not? Newcastle, well they went to Anfield and kept a clean sheet the other night. They haven't been able to do it here against Wimbledon struggling down at the bottom. That's Kimball's up and under. Oh, he's not missed it completely. Can Goodman get a shot in? Harford, it's there, Wimbledon a 2-1 up, and Mick Harford, who scored when Wimbledon beat Newcastle 3-2 last year, has done it again, 
question marks against Shaka Hislop there who came for it, didn't win it, but what a good finish by Mick Harford. And might even been a little touch there off Ekuku. Beardsley. Who has fallen nicely for Robert Lee. in the cross and Ferdinand there again 2-2 two -two. well Ferdinand must have touched the ball about four times in this match so far he scored twice Gilles picked up Ferdinand's run he says here we are put this one in he did and that's 20 goals now this season for Les Ferdinand And here is the danger man again, Ferdinand, he's looking for his hat-trick now, really good powerful run, this is another great chance, and it's in, and that might be an own goal for Cunningham, or did Gillespie get the last touch? Now let's see who does get the last touch here, it's on the 35th minute, in towards Gillespie, and I think that might have been Cunningham who touched it last. Holdsworth challenges Peacock. Harford picks it up. Now it's Marcus Gale. Kimball, good overlapping run. Some danger here and a great save by Shaka Hislop. Wonderful save. That was one to match that of Paul Heal at the other end in the first half to preserve Newcastle's lead. Kimball's Deep cross, half a header. Brilliant save that. Kimball. Harford again with the challenge, playing for his place, Mick Harford. He hasn't had many chances this season, but he's taking this one all right. Kimball does well to find Goodman. It's an improved performance in many ways from Wimbledon, though their defence was again well, let them down, though. What do you say uh, that letting three goals in against Newcastle is something to be sorry about? I don't know, really, because they're likely to carve anybody up. Here's Holdsworth overrunning it. They've created plenty, Wimbledon, and they've made it an uncomfortable afternoon for Newcastle, but the fact is the leaders do have this 3-2 lead, and there's that great save of... Shaka Hislop again. Now it's Kimball. Newcastle definitely looking to contain and counter by the look of it in the second half. Getting a lot of men back behind the ball. Challenging Wimbledon to break them down. Kimball, room for his cross this time. Danger, Harford's in there again. Holdsworth, and this time his luck can't keep it up. And Dean Holdsworth has got the equaliser. 66 minutes gone. Two for Dean Holdsworth today. And Wimbledon get the reward for what was becoming unremitting pressure. Well, what a cracking match this is. Wimbledon three, Newcastle three. a mistake by Beardsley Newcastle get it back that's more like Peter Beardsley he's found Ginola danger here Ginola well you could see that one bulging the back of the net when Ginola prepared to shoot but happily for Wimbledon it sailed wide very very strong the former Paris Saint-Germain star who's looking to secure his place in the French squad for the European Championships. Cunningham, now Goodman. Miscue, 
by Howie. And that's given Wimbledon a corner kick. And this could be more problems. At the moment, things looking distinctly dodgy for Newcastle. Harford's in there again, looking to take advantage as Kimball floats in another one. Ferdinand was back. Now here's Gillespie. No real support around him, and Cunningham got in a great challenge. Beardsley, look at that for vision. Wonderful ball. De Ginola, who'd come out to the right-hand side, goes past the defender as if he wasn't there. And Wimbledon get away with it with Lee, closing in on the far post. This is a brilliant move by Newcastle. Beardsley's ball is perfection to Ginola. Look at the way he just skipped past Perry there. And Lee could not quite apply the finishing touch. Howie didn't win it cleanly. Gale helping it on. It might fall for Gale here. Oh! So very close. So very close to a Wimbledon winner. Fell nicely for him. Hit it across his lock. It was beaten. But the post was beaten too. And Sam Hamam. The Wimbledon owner. Here come Newcastle again. Ginola. They want the winner. It's a very testing looking ball back by Gillespie. And lucky for Wimbledon that Leonardson was there to get it away because that ball back by Gillespie had danger written all over it. We are in the time that the referee is adding on and there will be no more. And at the end of a terrific game, maybe a just scoreline. Neither side deserved to lose that. Wimbledon 3, Newcastle United 3. Newcastle moved five points clear at the top ahead of Manchester United. It really was very, very rich entertainment indeed. Fully appreciated by a big crowd at Selhurst Park on a rainy, drizzly afternoon which was brightened up considerably by the football on offer. The final score here then is Wimbledon 3. Newcastle United 3. Newcastle's dropping of those two points wasn't too costly.